What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We back up in there, man. I'm taking a little break. But with this information right here, man, you got to get straight to it. I ain't going to waste no time. You already know how we like to do it. Especially if I took a hiatus, you know what I'm saying, to get the vibes right in the nature. All that stuff. Because believe it or not, bro, doing this research with this stuff, is, that's not a problem doing the research. But it gets draining to know that these people out here really doing this bullshit. Excuse my language, but it's like these are human beings just like us. It's like the iconic figure that we grown to know over the years, Tupac. His name is still talked about in the game today. And it's still clues that they still putting in interviews. Niggas lying like Napoleon. It's like Napoleon was an outlaw. You feel me? And another thing with the outlaws, the outlaw's original name was the Young Thugs. So it's a correlation with this stuff to how the, the Jewel Capels shit is in connection with like the Young Thug. Because you notice how Young Thug they had the hot video. It was like that was like a little while back, right? Travis Scott to even how he did the portal. The nigga showed you that he with the fire shit. He putting you in the fire. So if niggas want to be fans of those type of people's music, understand that it's gonna lower your vibrations. And that's just what it is. Like you know what I'm saying, as far as this stuff goes, like the Nas shit, all that. Like a lot of these individuals like to lower your vibrations. It's like these niggas trying to recruit you on the Masonic wave. But let me not waste no time, dog. Let me get straight to the pad right here. And this is the Jewel Capels Young mm -hmm. Thugger connection. Why I sell all that shit like that. Death Row, all that. Um, so Jewel Capels was uh she died on May 6, 2022, the day of her death. Now if you add that up, that's five plus six plus twenty plus twenty-two, that equals fifty-three. Her exact age that she died. So it's in code of numbers. So it kind of had me like scratching my head because I seen the um the interview with her on the art of dialogue where she was breaking down crying and stuff like that and it, it and it was very real but like this is how these people reel us in man just like how we was kids growing up listening to artists because we don't know no better we're just listening to the music thinking they just people like us but little do we know that they pulling rituals and shit I can't stand y'all motherfucking Masonic, Masonic ass niggas man damn this should be blowing me I ain't gonna lie, cause like, god damn, y'all niggas always doing rituals. Kanye, even how your name is encoded with 33, like Jesus Christ. So that 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 shows you why the nigga is purposely retarded in the industry. Now Kanye, when he came in the game, he was ambitious, right? Hungry, just wanted to get the product out. And that's why I respect it, to get the product out. We don't wanna hear you talk about bullshit. Nigga, you're not a goddamn financial advisor. You're not a presidential candidate. You're not none of that, you are a goddamn chosen nigga that was since you was a kid and you sacrificed your mom for that leverage but let's keep it on subject because you know a lot of that stuff will piss you off so um Jewel Capos 42 and full reduction first lady 42 full reduction Martin Luther King 42 slavery 42 February 42 um you already know it's a lot of connections with that and codes with the numbers now once he first stated that she was hospitalized that was March 2nd, 2002. So if you add that up, that's three, two, plus 20, plus 22, that equals 47. Another code with that. Okay, the day of the year in which, um, with the day of the year. So it's February 18th for the day of the year, that's 49. Dr. Dre's number was named in uh, the uh, full reduction. 49 Andre Young 52 for reduction so it links Snoop Dogg and it, it, it links it links Snoop Dogg and it goddamn links goddamn Death Row you know what I'm saying it also links who else motherfucking Dr. Dre Dr. Gay yes okay so another thing we got Wednesday March 6 2002 AKA May 6, 2002, that equals out to 65. Capos, her last name, <laughs> equals out to 56. That's flipped. So the full reduction of that would be 65, same number. Jewels died on the 6th of May. That's another in codes, see, 65. Just like I told you, May 6, 2022. Even for March 2nd, the day she was hospitalized. In that is a code for 61, just like Calvin Broaddus Jr. Snoop Dogg 61 You know what I'm saying? 
that shit is making me mad though. Like killing the coding and killing one one five. So I understand it. Like if so, this is how I understand it as well. Like that's why I had to go back to the uh, gematria. When these people do fake their death, they gotta follow exactly by the gematria to make it seem like they died because it's according to the books and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like if a nigga got an angel number such and such and such and such, then we gotta put it according to the book so they can, you know what I'm saying, write it off on the taxes and, and all that stuff. You know how these people like to do it straight by the number, man. Even the key words that they say. Or oh, this person was the fall guy. Fall guy is a code in Gematria. So like, I understand, like I took a step back because we can't overlook these celebrities. These niggas weird as fuck. Hollywood, weird old ass niggas. Whether you worked a weird regular job and you came in the industry, you understand that this shit is not for motherfuckers that want to be real. You fake. So even me growing up wanting to be an artist, nigga, fuck the industry. I'm going to do my own shit. That don't diminish me from being who I am. I can still have a voice. That's why I'm going to turn up for this shit instead of turning up on the tracks, being a goddamn puppet. You know what I'm saying? So Death Row was founded in 1991. That's 31 years. Skull and Bone equals 31. Dr. Dre, that's 31. Jewel, that's 32. Snoop Dogg, that's 32. Dr. Dre, that's 32. You know what I'm saying? You see how these codes and these numbers and shit like that? But even this, I ain't even want to even show too much on this because we're going to keep it on the numbers. I don't got to do slideshows and all that extensive research. I just write down the gematria. Just let you know that they doing it by the codes. <clears throat> Andre Hill Mail, that's 202. All right, so it's 6 plus 12. The day she was born. She was born on June 12, 2002. That would equal out to 60. Then it's 202 days left in the year in the full reduction. And if you put Dr. Dre's full name, Andre Hamel, or his middle name, that's 202. Coincidence? No, ain't no coincidence. It's in codes. Even like how this goddamn picture, let's zoom in. See that checkered bag right there? You see how these people like to do little shit. Even right here, like, you see how she was looking... Looking good in the interviews and stuff like that. That she, you know what I'm saying? She did what she did, dress it up and stuff like that. But right here, she looking like she deteriorated in the health. So you gotta make it believable. And even this, I'm not going lie, bro. Like watching this, it did have a nigga shedding a tear. Cause I was probably, probably, you know, pretty faded doing research, looking at this shit. And I was like, is this real or this fake? So that's why I was hesitant to even make the video. But nonetheless, we're gonna put it out to see what y'all think. I know for a fact that these niggas on the main stage is weirdos. You know what I'm saying? These niggas have no dignity. They just like Travis Scott. They open the portal. But hey, y'all accepting them. Because look at the very beginning. The nigga came out the gate covering his motherfucking eye. Hiding behind the bushes and shit. Then this motherfucker opened up a portal. And then niggas be like, oh, he, he's a copycat of uh, ASAP Rocket. Yeah, he is. Because ASAP Rocket is a motherfucking puppet. He's a Masonic puppet. So both of them niggas, of course they copycats. Both of y'all niggas are copycat. Masonic puppets. So y'all niggas are just alike. With the braids and all that shit. Fuck ASAP. Fuck motherfucking Travis Scott, nigga. And fuck Dr. Dre. Fuck Easy E. Fuck goddamn Snoop Dogg. For certain, fuck Snoop Dogg. And guess what? Fuck Tupac, nigga. And guess what? Fuck all these rituals and all that bullshit. So even right here, you see Snoop Dogg back in the day. His whole style... The murder was the case of gave me. That video was dark satanic. We don't even need to say too much about that. You already know that Snoop Dogg was a puppet. A nigga that got off for the murder and shit like that to the nigga dissing 6 9 And 6 9 is an industry plant. We already know. How is he in the industry? How is he not being touched? Because he's an industry plant. It's to ruffle the feathers of people. So now we can analyze things. I understand it. How he finessed Lil' Tim. How niggas like, um, what's that nigga name? Charleston White talking about he did God's work and shit like that. Yeah, it's God's work for these niggas on the main stage. Dark. Darkness. Ain't no God's work. Even looking at that, that shit had me mad. I'm like, God's work? This nigga's a fucking idiot, bro. But beyond that, bro, let's look even to this right here. All another stuff. You know, look going to the hospital. You know, he said, um, once, once, because Shook on his BMW, he had a car. The door was messed up. He was the only one that knew how to open that door. You know what I mean? Another thing, like if, if people want to say Shug set him up, why was Shug? And somebody said the police had a shotgun to him, and he still got up and opened the door. You know what I mean? To get Pac out the door, and um, and Shug said on the way, he I believe he said he rolled with Pac, or while they was in the hospital, the, the the ambulance. I'm gonna show you why this he said correlates Pac took a with deep this breath. shit. They was joking. 
You know, he said he kept calling him sweaty head. This pot used to call Shook sweaty head. He's always sweating. You know what I mean? He said pot took a deep breath after joking and said, I don't think I'm going to make it. You know, this is what Shook told us. Now pay attention. I don't think I'm going to make it this time. You see, he said I don't make it, then don't make it this time. So I looked that shit up. I'm like, these niggas like to be slick with the shit. That's 309 in Jamatria. Now look what we see down there. Scroll all down. Underneath it all, more lies. One of the most difficult decisions with God, all things are possible. You see how this nigga talking about he's a Muslim? I'm a Muslim now. I was used to be a hothead back in the day. Now all of a sudden you're controlled. What does that sound like? That sound like a motherfucking nigga that's controlled by the industry. You see what I'm saying? Like these niggas or say they or they Muslim, they all type of shit. We seen the nigga ARF talking about he Muslim and he in jail. Feel me? So don't believe that bullshit. I'm Muslim, I'm Muslim now. Get the fuck out of here, bro. These niggas be pissing me off. And then and then at this right here, look. And he opens the bottomless pit, yeah, to hell, to send your ass in like Travis Scott, the portal. So it's connections with this, but it's in codes, because that's what look what the nigga said. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Then he changed it. I don't think I'm gonna make it this time. That's 309, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's bring it back real quick. That's another another subject. Now let's put all this shit in there. They even like Dunk Thug, the hot video. You see how this nigga they was writing, they was signing their name, like signing in blood. In a fucking burning house. Look, slap. Because this nigga wanted to be down with this shit so much, right? That your ass is in jail, nigga. You in jail. And you already know you was on... You was, you you had told for your cousin that got mistaken by another nigga. So that wasn't a good look. Staying on your legacy rapping. But you already know this rap shit is bullshit anyway. So he's a character. Gunner is a character. To the nigga can snitch and all that type shit. We be like, oh, he make good music. Let's keep it moving, man. Young Thug, he walk in the door like he's a savior. Like he gonna save things and shit like that. We already told you he was a mason. Even like the emblem to like some of the fucking fire... Fire, uh, fight, firefighters and shit like that. They got a fucking emblem and shit like that. With the goddamn mason and shit and some of these patches on the joint and shit like that. So, this is in code as well. Young Thug gonna walk in and gonna be the savior, right? That red door right there. Like, like writing your name in blood. That outline. That red outline. Like red ink type shit, you know what I'm saying? With the fire burning in the building, but you the savior of that. And even like look down here, zooming in, in you see the fallen angels they burning. You got young thug over here, turning his head like it's a sacrificial type of imagery. You know what I'm saying? So even what did we see beyond this? Young thug sacrifices baby mother, and then he had the fucking in the blood cover art for like a tape or some shit like that. Gunner engulfed in the fire inside the goddamn room. And then Young Thug had to come save him. So even beyond that, this nigga was writing on the contract. Now even with this right here, the representation of this is out of the blue. This whole YSL taking him down shit came out of the blue, right? And then on top of that, the nigga, um, Lord, what's the, what's the, what's the Lord nigga name? One of the niggas in his camp that died and shit like that. The nigga that wasn't getting no play in his music, the nigga just died and shit like that. Nigga Gunner. Oh, you, it's, oh, niggas think, oh, he write fire raps. No, ain't no fucking fire raps, nigga. This motherfucker's writing to the script and shit like that. You're going to get your little money over here, right? But you got to fucking bring souls to this shit. Just like how this cup is a reputation. They probably think it's drinking blood or some shit. Come on, man. They put all this shit in the video and they fly over niggas' heads and shit like that. Even like this. Even on the damn, on the, on the motherfucking field, there's 52 people on there representing... You know, the flags on the star and shit like that. So they do things specifically to be in code with the numbers, bro. Like 52, Andre Young. You know what I'm saying? Andre Young. Who is Andre Young? Motherfucking Dr. Dre, nigga. Andre Romeo Young. You know what I'm saying? Like, they put this stuff in codes. But I don't want to make this video too long. I wanted to make the video. I didn't want to be like, oh, let me bullshit and shit like that. Then just make it around and make it another week. Nah, nigga, this shit is light. Light work. But I just don't like talking about these fuck ass niggas all the time. Because these niggas all do bullshit. Let's put this in there, too. Motherfucking Justin Timberlake acting like he don't know what it is. But you see that star right there. Now, I mean, I zoom in because I don't want y'all niggas to get too sensitive. Like, oh, titties, nigga. You know what titties look like, nigga. Your mama breastfed your ass. You came from titty milk, nigga. Or you, you know what I'm saying? You was red the bottle or whatever. So don't be on no quick sensitive because it ain't for the kids anyway. So if your ass is a little kid, you're on there. Get your ass off the channel. You know what I'm saying? Unless your mama would share some shit like that. Excuse the language, but we passionate about this. These, these rap niggas is bullshit. Got these motherfuckers following this shit. You know what I'm saying? And let's bring it back one more time, man. Out of the blue for that, like the YSL shit. Sacrificial. Because you see the angels and shit like that. The fallen angels. Just like Los Angeles. The lost angels. 
You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. God damn. Script this shit. Like, this nigga, he be lying and shit. To this. Like, damn, Drew, okay, boy, you died and said that he sped up the interview and shit, but you put the motherfucking checkered bag right there? What is the goddamn purpose of that? Oh, yeah, you got to show your allegiance of what you was down with because you was in death row, right? What is death row? That's, that's 77. That's all type of codes I wrote on this paper, man. I could have kept it going over and over. I would have filled up books and books on goddamn shit. But it just let me know that Dramatria is very prevalent when it comes to these people on the main stage. Because they got to follow to some coding. And to the masses, to the people. It's like how people say, oh, Erica Badu speaks in codes on Twitter. Yes, he says specific specific key words that you can translate in Dramatria to break down and understand the motherfucking number and the code and the number. So now I'm going to get back to that. You know what I'm saying? But let me know what y'all think, man. Tupac faked this death. Did Jewel Capos fake her death as well? Or was she actually sacrificed? Cause I could play the little interview clip. Let me actually go to that. You know what I'm saying? They can do what they want to do. Oh, it's cows. It's um, copyright and shit like that. Hey, man, fuck it. We're going, hold on. Let's put this little part in there. She said she worked at the, look. But this part right here got me. This is the part that got me. I would never amount to anything. Let's, let's look, look, look. I started this the part that got me to have me like bro look, look. and you feed people and you take care of people your blessings come from above that's real though. and I would have to say for me not to have got none of my do right publishing and only a little change I still look this good and feel this good because I treated people right why would she look at the turret and then in the pictures then? After I left oh, because she got makeup on, right? You got to dress it up. All the stress. Look at this. Listen. All the negativity. Listen. All the feeling down that I was a failure and... See, it made it seem like she was about to break down right there. That's why I'm like, these people got to stop playing with our emotions, bro. This is why, for me, I don't understand, like... They're like, oh, why does he dip off sometimes? I'm like, bro, they're playing with our emotions, bro. I'm not about to sit here and... Go through this. I will slap one of these bitch ass niggas playing with these emotions, like all all these lines and shit. Let one of these fake ass rap niggas play with me. I'm gonna slap the dog shit out of one of these niggas. They play that bullshit, bro. I swear to God, don't play with me when it comes to this, bro. This is too, too satanic. So if this lady fake this shit, bro, she's she's wicked. I don't rock with that. But we seen that she put the checkered shit, and you got the goddamn snake skins like Young Thug, bro. So let's get up out of here if I get too mad, bro. But y'all let me know what y'all think, bro. I'm gonna come right back. Cause now that I'm mad, oh y'all got the fire. I got drops.